Hi everyone, Rihanna Dignard here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're returning. And if you are, thank you so much for returning. Today we are going to be wrapping up our series on the science behind film photography. And we're going to do that by talking about motion picture film. That's right, the film used to shoot movies such as this. Now, people actually take motion picture film and cut it up and use it in their cameras to take still photography. So we're going to talk about the science behind why you can do that and some of the differences between motion picture film and film that you typically would shoot in your camera. Let's get started. Film used in a movie undergoes a lot more stress than film shot through a normal film camera. This is because movie film moves a lot faster. At its maximum, the rate that film goes through your normal film camera is only about 3 to 4 frames per second over a few seconds, compared to movie film, which moves at a minimum of 24 to 30 frames per second and goes on for a lot longer at that rate. And sometimes that rate is even higher, especially if you're trying to shoot in slow motion. So because of this high rate of movement throughout the camera, Movie film undergoes an increase in static electricity from moving across the camera. It can also snag or get stuck on the camera, which ruins the film and is not good for production. So how do we go about fixing this? Remember how I mentioned in my color film processing video that in addition to the photographic emulsion and the specific dyes needed to create a color image, the film is also often coated with a anti-scratch agent, UV coatings, or even like an anti-halation layer. Well, movie film gets the same treatment for an anti-scratch, but it also needs something that's going to be anti-static and a lubricant to keep it rolling smoothly through the film camera. Now this is something called Remjet. Remjet is a black colored layer on the back of film that is made out of carbon mixed with a binding agent of cellulose acetate polymer. It's been a hot second since I've mentioned a polymer here, and if you're new, a polymer is just something that is made up of a bunch of tiny units of something else. So in this case, a cellulose acetate polymer is a very long chain of a chemical called cellulose acetate, all stitched together to make a very long and sticky chain. Glues are another great example of polymer, and that's what the cellulose acetate is doing here. It is combining with the carbon particles to make kind of like a glue that's being stuck on the back of film. Now, this is serving as a lubricant and an anti-static and an anti-scratch, but the Remjet is also an anti-halation layer. Halations occur in film photography when the light goes through into the film, but then bounces back up. And they're usually red because that red layer is the first one it hits again. This causes little halos around the lights that are sometimes kind of artistic, but if you're trying to make a movie, you don't want a bunch of red halos around all of your light sources. Due to the Remjet backing, motion picture film cannot be processed in the C41 film process that we've talked about so far on this channel. And this is because there's no Remjet removal step in C41, and if you tried to develop your motion picture film in it, it would just create a huge fat mess. To overcome this, a different film process was created called the ECN2 process, which includes a Remjet removal stage and different chemicals than you would use in C41, but still having the same underlying chemical principles of being a reducing agent that's going to reduce your silver halides into solid silver and form your image. Because any way you slice it, the chemistry behind developing silver halide emulsions is basically the same, even if you're using slightly different chemicals to achieve that result. However, it is possible to remove the Remjet layer at home and develop with C41 chemicals. To do this, you have to rinse your film in a basic solution. And this can be easily achieved by combining water with washing soda or baking soda. The reason for this is the Remjet layer under basic conditions will actually break down that cellulose acetate polymer that's gluing it all together and make it water soluble. So then you can just rinse it away in water and process as normal with C41. Some pretty cool chemistry to get around a little bit of Remjet layer that is cool chemistry in and of itself. Thank you all so much for watching this video and for sticking around for this film photography science series. I've had a lot of fun doing all of this research and getting to share this information with you. And personally, just like, I love learning new things. So this is, this is always so much fun for me. 
Today's fun fact that we're going to rate on a scale of 1 to 10 in the comments below is that the company Sinistil sells motion picture film with the remjet already removed so you can get all of those super cool halations. And that creates a really fun artistic effect that can be fun to experiment in film photography. So please be sure to rate that comment on, rate that fun fact on a scale of 1 to 10 below in the comments, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to comment down below if you have any science questions or any other content you'd like to see on this channel. Follow me on Instagram and keep it sciencey!